And welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. I'm with Andrew Genta from the Swanner Eco Center, and I'm so glad to have you on the show as always. Yeah, thank you, and it's glad to be back here. It's, yeah. uh, I'm looking you guys have had a good uh, beginning of fall, haven't you? We've had. We've had some great success at uh, our past couple of events. We had a dust in the wind event, right. and as well as a um, basics backyard beekeeping event. So that was yeah. Tell cool. me about the beekeeping. How'd it go? The beekeeping event went really well. We had about 35 people come out, and um, we had this professor from Salt Lake, uh, Salt Lake City beekeeper. His name's Frank Whitby, and he did an excellent job of giving us the history, the background about beekeeping, and basically just how to raise bees and take care of them out here in Utah with the climate we have. And that's went cool. went through the whole litany of things that can go wrong with beekeeping <laughs> and uh, how to keep them out of your neighbor's yard <laughs> and keep really? them in your yard. So that's, so that's some, pretty crazy. Left some good words of wisdom if you're going to get into uh, to beekeeping. Do so. you think you got a few new people doing it? I think that? so. I think we do have uh, a few a few new uh, new people interested in the hobby. So really we'll see cool. how we'll see how it goes. <laughs> so the field trip started out to the place now. Um, we had a, we've had a couple field trips so yeah. far. I had a Cub Scout group join us uh, the other day, so we took them out on the preserve. That's but, great. But um, right now we're just kind of working on revamping some programs for the winter and just just waiting for the snow to get them out in the snowshoes. So that's great. Yeah. Well, let's talk about some of the things you've got coming up, because you've got some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, we've got some great programs. The first one, starting up actually this Monday, October 1st, um, is our Little Naturalist program. And that's a uh, reading program for three to five-year-olds. It's um, just to get those kids excited about the environment, kind of get them into to learning what's out there. And so this program is every first and third Monday of the month from 10 to 11 a.m. Okay. at the preserve. And so um, a staff member volunteer reads a nature-themed environmental story, and then we follow that up with some fun crafts or games that the kids can play. That's and, great. Yeah, and so um, that's from 10 to 11 a.m. Okay, and it's, it's uh, free? It's uh, $2. Two dollars. Two dollars right. for per program, okay. per family, so if you have that's one nothing. to five children, it's two dollars all the same. Yeah. Or if you're interested, you can buy a punch pass for fifteen dollars, and that's good for eight programs. Wow! Yeah, it's so a bargain. It's great. It's great. Gosh, so, people could almost double that. Maybe. Ex it, it, yeah, right, you, you, yeah. If you want to give more, you'll take it. Right? Exactly. So we've <laughs> got a lot awesome. of a lot of fun uh, environmental stories picked out, lined up for this uh, this year. So that's we're excited great. about it. All so, right. so and then you've got uh, this, some even bigger stuff than that. Yeah, we got yeah. some. Uh, Got some big, big uh, events coming up. Besides that, on October 11th, we have the Parade of Raptors. This is big. This is big. This is a good event. So we partner with Hawk Watch International. They're yeah. an organization based out of Salt Lake City, and their mission is to uh, just teach people about raptors and birds of prey and, and why we should conserve them and their habitat and how they're important. They're hugely important here in Utah, aren't they? Oh, they're hugely important everywhere. But, yeah, yeah especially here in Utah, you know, they're – they keep the mice and, and the voles and those type of animal populations in check, and they're just beautiful birds to see out there. And I need so, one. Uh, I've got a small piece of property. It's like a quarter acre. Right. But I need one. Oh, to, so uh, if I get to borrow control, one? Yes. Yeah, so we'll, see if we can, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see if we'll let them loan you one. <laughs> i got a groundhog they, going to town on my yard yeah. right now. <laughs> I'm like, can they manage a groundhog? But, maybe some birds can. Maybe the <laughs> golden eagle or something of that size. Yeah, but Yeah, let's put a golden eagle in the backyard. Right. That'd be great. But this event's going to be happening October 11th from 6 to 8 p.m. And it's five dollars uh, per person or free for uh, members and so hawk watch will be bringing up their fine feathered ambassadors some hawks some falcons so we'll have some live birds at our preserve to check out um, we'll talk about the life history of these birds and hopefully we'll get a chance to maybe see a few of them fly and oh, we'll do some demonstrations of, of how they hunt so because um, uh, man when you see these birds actually oh, going after something it's amazing i they, you know, they make the rest of us that fly look like fools. Oh, right? you know, it's, no one flies like a bird. No, they're really they're, yeah, exactly. They they were designed <laughs> for one thing, and they they do it excellent. That's really so, cool. So um, yeah, it'll be really exciting to to have that event. So again, the date on that one is that is October 11th. It's a Wednesday night, and that's okay. from 6 to 8 p.m. So All right. um, you can RSVP by contacting us at the Swana Preserve and Eco Center. Okay. And so. Um, that's really cool. And then uh, one more. We got yeah, one really exciting event at the very end of the month, October 21st. Fourth is our uh, family spooktacular science this is night. Great. <laughs> so it's uh, last year we did a family science night. So this year we're deciding to do a Halloween themed science night. Um, it's for kids, adults, anyone of all ages who's um, 
interested in science but just wants to come out, do some fun experiments. It's a great opportunity to take your kids out, do something different. Um, we're going to have eight to nine different science experiments. Um, we're going to um, have kids have Are the you going to make Frankenstein or anything? Oh, we're going to do, we're going to all be Frankenstein there, <laughs> there you go. at this okay. event. So uh, we're going to have kids activities range from making atomic glow worms to learning about the science of uh, using dry ice, learning about making ghost eggs. And um, ghost eggs. Ghost eggs. Yeah, okay. you have to come out and check that out. So if yeah. you ever wonder where a ghost egg comes from, you have yeah, to come out. We're not going to gonna tell you. You got to come check you it out. You got to come out to the event. <laughs> so we got a lot of fun activities planned for that night. So it's uh, feel free to come dressed up in your favorite scientist or Halloween costume, and it's going to be a blast. So and that's October twenty fourth. That's October twenty fourth from six to eight p.m. and it's that's and really that one's great. a bargain too. It's just two dollars a person. So um, yeah, come on out. We're also, if anyone high school age or older adults are looking for a volunteer opportunity, we're looking for some volunteers for that event to, oh, yeah? okay. to help us out, help us set up, decorate for the event, as well as possibly uh, run some of the experiments with us. So no experience necessary. We'll get you <laughs> all teach. trained up, and, and you'll be experts by the end of uh, learning how to make atomic glow worms and, and all different sorts of fun science craft activities. So it's really just a good night to have fun and also teach some people the science behind different things. Yeah, so, that's, yeah, that's cool. great that's learning really experience. Cool. So. You guys have got some really great ideas. And then uh, you'll be back with me in October. We'll be talking about uh, the stuff coming up in the right. late fall. That's right. We'll be talking about some events coming up. Uh, we'll be talking about our holiday open house that'll be coming up in December. And then um, talking about um, an art class that we'll be having. Um, Kim LaRouche is um, works with the Kimball Art Center is going to do some watercolor um, really? lessons for us so That's cool. on Saturday, November. So, so something to get inside. Right, get we'll, inside. We'll be cold by then. It'll be cold. We'll have a lot of snow on the ground yeah, by then. Hopefully, cross your fingers. <laughs> exactly. Hopefully we'll be able to do some early <laughs> snowshoe tours at the preserve. Yeah, t what are those, tell me a little bit about those. I'm, I'm really excited about this. What is a snowshoe tour like for you guys? What do you do? Uh, so basically, you meet at our eco center. Um, last year, we hosted them on Thursday mornings and Saturday mornings. And uh, it's about an hour-long tour, and um, the fee includes the price for rentals of the snowshoe. So if you don't have any, don't worry, we <laughs> will provide. And uh, we take you out on a preserve. We teach you about the history of our preserve, um, teach you about the ecology of what's going on. And my favorite part is we teach you about animal tracking and how to look for different That's animal signs. Cool. And um, even though you may not see some animals out there during the day, we can tell you who's been traveling across our preserve in the winter. So. Really so that'll cool. be fun. That's excellent. So that's good. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. So the open house, too. Let's just give people a little yes. taste of what that'll be. That'll be in December Yeah, well? that's December. It's an open house, kind of show what we programs we've got going on at the Eco Center, as well as a holiday boutique sale. So some local artists will bring in their, um, bring in their goods and their arts, and uh, it'll be a chance for them to, to help out the community and show, uh, show what they have. Wow, that's for great. Sale. Well, lots of good stuff. Part of the stuff. proceeds will, will go to the preserve. So. Oh, good. Yeah. That's yeah. Well, that's the important key. part of it, right? So, that's one of the, your right. big fundraising events. Yes. So. Um, In fact, that's kind of your biggest one of the year, isn't it? It's close to it. It's 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 definitely it's a big event for us. So. Well, that's really um, cool. Yeah. Well, and I then, think people need to know that you know so much of what you do comes from them helping. Right. It does. Without without the donations, without the support from the community, it's yeah, you know, it's hard to hard to keep the momentum going. So. Um, really appreciate the support from everybody out there for supporting Swanner, the Eco Center, and allows us to present these fun nights like the Family Science Night and bring in these lectures like the, the beekeeping or the Parade of Raptors that's coming up. So I'm sad I missed that beekeeping. I kind of oh. I, 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 I don't know. I, I the the function of it all is a, a little you know like I'm a little but, scared of getting stung. Oh yeah, because it hurts. Oh, it does. It's but uh, fun to get your own honey oh, yeah. and to help the bee community because that helps all of us oh right yeah those bees are out there pollinating um they're out there doing their thing and it's pretty cool yeah without bees yeah be tough plant life out there so well sure love the uh, just one more example of the, uh, the good things you guys are doing there. yeah thank sure you appreciate that Andrew, right. thanks for being on the show today. yeah thank you very much all right what's the website real quick um for if you want to check out our events coming yeah. up or just want to leave us a line you can 
contact us at www.swannerecocenter.org. And all of the information on these events right. will be on there. Yep, you just go to our website, you can look under the events, under our calendar, and you'll see everything lined up. And uh, yeah, just feel free to send us an email and RSVP. You can, uh, if you want to go to any of the events I talked about today, you can just go to contact us at Swanner Eco Center at usu.edu. Okay. You can just leave us a line. All right. Thanks, Cool. Andrew. Thank you very much. All right. We'll be back after these messages. Don't go anywhere.